and here he is, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him, he is your host, he is none other than Rick The Rock, and that's right, I am the YouTube champion, I am Rick The Rock, and this is the Cool, clever, calm, and awesome people's WWE channel. As always, you guys are cool, you guys are awesome, you guys are the reason I do this, and you guys know what to do. Team Bring It Worldwide. Make sure to view and like my Facebook page, the People's WWE page. Team Bring It, as well as WWE World Wrestling Network on Facebook. Share this video all over the people's internet. Tell your friends about Rick the Rock. Comment below. You can check out all my other videos, such as my NXT and main event review and PCW Top Gun, Top Gun preview and predictions. And me on Facebook at Richard J. Pate. Follow me on Twitter at Rick the Rock Pate. Hashtag Rick the Rock. And make sure to like and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get a shout out. You'll get a couple of my stories of Wizard of Rock. You'll be recognised, you'll be mentioned, and I'll start covering WWE rumours. But we are on the road to WWE Battle Ground. And this is the SmackDown review. Before I get into the SmackDown, my SmackDown review, a few more matches have been made for tomorrow night's PCW show, PCW event. Um, on the Academy show, it will be there's been six matches made, sorry, five matches made. It will be Jimmy taking on James Finn. Uh, I think James Finn's come out with a win here. I think the other members of Blue Zone will cost Jimmy the win. In a triple threat Divas or a women's match, it will be Rio versus Jenny B versus Lauren. I think Lauren to win this one. It will be in singles action, Rocky Future versus Alex Boylin or Bowling. Uh, I think Rocky to pick up the win here because of the last show. He didn't win any matches. It will be Jack Barron versus Dave Birch. Um... I think Jack Barron to win this one. And it will be Jack Garvin versus Philip Michaels. Uh, I think Philip Michaels to win that one. So on with the SmackDown review. So on SmackDown, um, David Otunga was on commentary once again. Um, so I don't know if he's on commentary, excuse me, on commentary permanently or just until the draft or well who knows there are rumors that Corey Graves is going to be uh drafted to Smackdown and be on the on the com com be on commentary uh the Royal Smackdown podiums were on the stage again obviously for the draft July 19th don't forget it your first match of the night first match a fail for a match Cesaro taking on Apollo Cruz taking on Sheamus taking on Alberto Del Rio Coming out of the win, Cesaro, and he got a shot at the US Championship, which was supposed to be later that night, but out came Rusev and beat Cesaro, and he's still your US Champion. In women's action, or Divas action, Dana Brooke beat Billy Kay from NXT. Uh, not really much to be said here, except for uh, I, did, I did think Billy Kay would come into the main roster in the draft. But she's on the main roster now. So it's going to be on the main roster every single week. Uh, or is this just a one-off? It was Miz TV. And his guest was Dean Ambrose. Dean came out talking. Um, disrespected the Miz. And Miz knocked down Dean. In a fresh match. From the Wyatt family. Baron Strowman and Uri Ruin beat two jobbers. Uh, not really much to be said here. Um, and then 
the New Day with Tokyo on the Titan Tron and Bray Tart. So it looks like it will be the New Day taking on the White family at a battleground. Uh, whether that'll be uh, a six-man tag match or it will be a match for the tag team titles, we don't know yet. In the second Divas match or women's match on SmackDown, the boss, Sasha Banks, beat Summer Rae. So that's quite big. Uh, two Divas matches, two women's matches on SmackDown. I can't remember the last time I saw two women's matches or Divas matches on SmackDown. And your main events, uh, the WWE champion Dean Ambrose beat the Intercolor champion The Miz. So going for Dean Ambrose here. Um, it was an okay SmackDown on Raw. Rusev will take on Titus O'Neil with a US title on the line. But I give tonight SmackDown. You guessed it. Five and a half people's eyebrows out of ten. Um, SmackDown could have been better tonight. I do think that Royal SmackDown will get a lot better after the draft. Comment below if you agree. I, th I do think that Royal SmackDown have got a lot better since Jim Man returned. Uh, but I think it'll be a whole lot better after the draft. If you're coming to PCW tomorrow night, come and say hello to me. But for now, like, subscribe, add and follow. If you smell what Rick the Rock is cooking.